Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be a chit chat video. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I thought, why not do one today? Since my face is done. And by the way, this tutorial will be up soon. So I thought, let's do confessions of a beauty guru tag. And I just missed the tag videos lately and I feel like everything is so repetitive on YouTube. So I wanna do this tag just cause I love these tag videos. Got my coffee ready. Number one, how many hours a week do you spend filming and editing? If I'm on a roll of videos and filming and editing, filming is fast, but editing is where it takes a heck of long. So it usually takes me about like half an hour or so to 45 minutes to film something. As for editing, it can take up to like three hours for one video to edit. Number two, are you a spender or a saver? Sorry for the dog outside, someone else's neighbor dog. I am kind of both. I used to be quite a spender, but as I grew up more, like moved out of my mom's house, I started to save a little bit more now. So, you know, eventually hopefully get a house, but it's kind of hard in SF to get a house to be real, especially nowadays. Number three, when is it easiest for you to film? It is easiest for me to film when Illy's not around. Speaking of Illy, I think she just got home, so I need to put this camera away now. Hold on. All right, let's continue from where we were, shall we? Before I get interrupted by Illy. The easiest time for me to film, I feel like, um, is when no one's home or like, when Illy's not with me. Just because Illy tends to distract me from filming. Um, she's quite a handful. She's kind of like five kids in one. <laughs> she's like a crazy monkey. She's never sitting still, which I mean, it's Illy. It's the way she is. So it's all it's all good. Um, so I'd rather just have my full attention on her when she's here versus when she's at school or with her grandparents, I can film. I have been away for a minute now on YouTube just because I've been busy with, with Illy, because uh, her grandparents were on vacation, and then I've been helping out at the restaurant, so I haven't really had time to film or do anything really. I have been vlogging. Vlogging is different. Vlogging, I don't necessarily have to sit down and be at the camera for so many hours. So Illy actually don't mind me vlogging and she joins in on it. If you guys want to check out my vlog, I will have the links below like always. I'll also link it up here as well for you guys for the bar. Okay, number four. What makes talking in front of the camera comfortable for you? It wasn't always easy for me to talk in front of the camera. Honestly, I think um, in the beginning for everyone, it's usually hard to talk in front of the camera with no one around because you're just talking to yourself. But technically you're not because you guys are the viewers. I think it's just practice, just doing it more often. It just helps motivate you. And I personally like love doing this. It's just a hobby for me. And I've just been doing it for a long time now and I still enjoy doing it. Number five, what's your worst makeup or hair habit? I think my worst makeup habit is not putting on my nighttime skincare routine every night. Because I take off my makeup pretty darn good. Like every night I take off my makeup if I'm wearing any. Versus me putting on my skincare after that. Because I like already spent all that time taking off my face. Cleaning my face. I'm just so tired at that point that I just want to go to bed. And I don't put on my skincare at night. And it's really really important because that helps regenerate the skin cells. Um, replenish everything you missed. Everything you removed. So it's just as important to take off the makeup as well as reapplying all that moisture and anything that you need for the skin before bed. So I really need to work on that. Number six, what's one quote that you wish the world would live by? I think, I don't really know any opening quotes that many, but I feel like if the world lived by I think if you're honest to yourself and true to yourself, things will go the way they're supposed to go. That's just how I feel. Number seven, how long do you spend getting ready? How, I think it means, how much time do you spend getting ready every day? I wanna say now, since I don't put on like a full face on makeup like now, like, like I used to for work, I honestly take like 20 minutes, if not less, 15 minutes even if I'm in a hurry, 15 minutes. But if I take my time, even for my like daily look. Number eight, what's your favorite video on YouTube? I think my favorite video, honestly, is organizing. So anything that includes ideas, DIYs, that organize everything, not just beauty products, um, just life in general, like how to organize your living room, how to organize your fridge, your, your bathroom cabinets, everything, like 
I like organizing and I love it and everything has its home and a place. That's what I like personally. So I enjoy watching anything like that. Number nine, who is a YouTuber that you watch who deserves more viewers um, and subscribers? Um, I'm not sure. I don't watch a lot. Like I watch a lot, but I feel like I'm so behind on who's who. And there's so many people now on YouTube. I just stick to what I know, which is the popular ones already. Um, I like to watch a lot of vlogs now versus beauty videos all the time. I don't really have an exact answer for that. Number 10. What's one thing you're excited about in the upcoming year? So this upcoming year, it's already middle of the year, so I don't have much. I just, I'm just excited that my um, my husband finally has the restaurant he's been wanting and I get to help him in that process, in that journey, and it's a new journey for both of us. Well, more so me than him because I'm not in the restaurant industry at all. I'm not a foodie like that. Um, so it's definitely a new world to me to learn. Um, I just am wishing and hoping for the best for the business for our business and that it will bloom within time and people will just hear about our restaurant with time so if you guys don't know my husband is Guatemalan he has a Guatemalan restaurant in the city um, it's called Sabor SM it's a Guatemalan restaurant with Mayan flavors so if you yelp um, Sabor SM you can find the business and you know where it is if you are in the Bay Area 11 what's your most awkward filming moment I think my most awkward filming moment is when my husband is in the room and he's awake I haven't filmed around him in a while because I haven't filmed in a while first of all and I think he just feels like camera shy so I've been still trying to get him in the video to do all those tags with husband tags so look out for those I'm in the process of trying to get him into it um, but yeah Number 12, how long does it take you to prep for a video? Uh, if it's a new setting like this where I have to bring all my gear to the living room or bring all my gear to the room or wherever I am, that takes a while. But if I ha I'm doing the same setting every day, like my usual bedroom setting, that doesn't take me long at all. I want to say like less than 10 minutes. Plop the camera, tripod, make sure battery's charged, SD card's not full, and pull out the makeup I want. It takes like 10 minutes max. But when I move the setting, like today, it takes me a good half hour to make sure I didn't forget any like products, uh, making sure the setting looks nice, making sure the lighting you can see me in frame, all that good stuff. So I can take up to 30 minutes. 13, are you wearing pants, jeans, skirt right now? Or are you actually wearing pajama bottoms or sweatpants? I am wearing pajama shorts. 14, what are you most proud of in your life? I think I'm most proud of is Illy. She is such a ball of energy that I never imagined in my life to have a child like her. She is such a great girl. She brings out sides of me that I didn't even know I had. That pretty much sums up everything. I hope you guys enjoy this tag. If any of you guys want to do this tag, let's bring it around again. Because it's been a minute. Answers change. Perspectives change. So, it's good to refresh on it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!